Hello everyone, I'm Vikas from Small Academy and welcome to another Firebase Tutorials. So in this video today, we're going to talk about how to verify email once the user get registered in our application. So in the last video, we talked about how to reset the password. So we let the user uh, type their email and we uh, sent reset email to their email address and from there user can click on the link provided by the firebase and they can reset their password. So in this video today we'll be talking about one important aspect of registering the user. So it is important to have the verified email. So we don't want a fake user to be registered in our account and use the resources because we want the user to be real so that if we want to interact with their email then we can extract the email and use it in the way that we, we want. Maybe there are some other features that you want user to be able to use in your application and you want real email addresses for that. So there are many reasons why we need to have the verified email in our app for the users. So anyway, we'll, we're going to go ahead and open our applications that is, that is Authenticator app that I have built and if you don't have these applications, I'm gonna provide the source code in the description. And if you want to learn how to create that applications, then I have a whole tutorial series on that. You can uh, also get the link for that in the description as well, okay? And in the coming videos, we'll be talking about how to update the users, email address, how to create the profile section without using the Firestore database and so on. So uh, I hope that you are going to subscribe to my channel and like this video so that I can get you more videos in the futures. Okay, so let's get started with our application. I'm gonna open my application that I have here. So currently these applications have the login and registration activity and one main activity which is the dashboard activity for the user who logged into our application using the email and password. So what I want to do here is that I want user to verify their email once they once they create the new account in our, in our application. Once the user get registered in our application, I will send the automatic email validation link to the email of that user and I will inform the user that I have sent the verification email to your email address then you need to go and verify it. There are chances that user is not going to open their email and verify the address. Let's go ahead in the registered Java file here and here when the user get registered I want to send the automatic verification email address and I'm gonna show the message to the user that email has been sent to their email address okay I can do that here once the user is uh, registered okay so that is inside this create user with email and password method so inside this I'm creating the user account with the email and password okay so just after this task is successful so this task is successful meaning that user have created the account successfully and inside this I'm, I want to send an email address which will have the link to verify the email of that user okay so inside this uh, to send the verification email I need the Firebase user object and using that object I can send the email okay so to get the Firebase object Firebase user object I want to create one Firebase user object using the class name that we have called Firebase user okay I'm gonna name the user object as user and now I want to get the instance of the current user okay so to that to do that I need to have this Firebase fire auth, Firebase auth object instance now I'll use the method called get current user so it will retrieve the current user as an object here after this using the same object I can use the send email verification method I'm going to attach the email listener to make sure that what happens afterward so that we can handle the situation okay so so I'm gonna add the add success event listener and I'm gonna add add on failure listener as well so that I can handle the situation where the email address is not uh, sent to the user okay so once the verification email address is sent to the email address of that particular user I want to display some toast messages that inform the user that verification email have, has been sent and if we are not able to send the email then I'm gonna log the message so that I can you know get the idea wh why that email was not sent to the user I'm gonna log the message that says email not sent and at last I'm gonna add the exception message that we get from the server okay so now once the user open our application and register new account they'll automatically get the email verification address email ver verification email from the firebase we'll see that uh, 
after some time but now okay we are getting this error because we already have this user variable here so i'm just gonna rename that to f user okay so that i uh, will resolve this error okay now this section will send the verification email to the user when the new account is created now i'm gonna go to the main activity so main activity is open only when the user logged into our ap application okay so this main activity is not available to the user who don't don't have account or who is new user to our application inside this what i want to do is in activity main i want to display some message if the user have not uh, click on that verification email that i sent i had sent to the user's email address first we're gonna check if the email is verified or not and if the email is not verified we will display that message here and we'll also give the option to resend the verification email and if the email is verified then we will not display anything here so that user can understand that he has the verified email or we can understand that user is already verified his or her email address okay so to do that i'm gonna add some i'm gonna display some message to the user so let me design something here so this is a simple message that i want to display to the user when he logged into our application that says email is not verified and i'll give the button that display is verify now so whenever user click on this verify now button we will resend the verification email address to the user so that he can verify it again so but we will display this message only if the user have not verified his email address okay so to do that we need to check some we need to perform some checks to see if the email is already verified or not so initially uh, let me give the id for this verify message and yes and for this button as well um recent code okay so initially these two uh, component will be hidden so let me go back to the visibility part here and i'm gonna make those as invisible okay because they are only visible to the user who don't have the email verified right like that okay now i want to program the uh, logic here so if initially i want the button variable and that text view and that message so that is a um, verify message let me set the external resources for those variables that i just created recent code and for the text view as well the very verify message now i can start programming on these buttons here to check if the email is already verified or not i can use the is email verified method of firebase so to do that i need the user object here as well so i'm gonna make one firebase user user and firebase auth instance as well and uh, here i already have this firebase instance here like that so if you have this source code with you then we you already have this firebase auth very variable as well so you don't need to make uh, write anything so here i have initialized that as well inside this i want to use the user object and uh, i'm gonna check if the email is verified or not okay so if the email is verified this is going to get uh, displayed true and this block of code will be executed but what i want to do inside this block is i want to execute this block only if the user have not verified the email so that's why i'm gonna put not here so if the email is not verified then i want to display that message so i i need to display the this verify message so i'm gonna set visibility and i'm gonna make it visible and for that button as well so resend code dot set visibility if the user click on recent button i want to resend the verification email address to the user so i'm gonna say it on click listener on that button now inside this i need to write the same code that i have written here so it is better that if i go here and copy the same thing so let me copy from here and i'm gonna paste it here click on ok and i'm gonna fix this tag and i need to change this activity as well so i'm gonna use let me get the context and i need to make it final and i already have this user variable here so i don't need to create the that here so i'm going to use that same object 
so let me name that user and it displays error so i need to make that final okay now it is gone now i'm going to run this application and show you guys what we have just did on this uh, application so let's run this okay the app is running now and i'm gonna start by creating a new account so let me create some test account or i need to give the real email address so let me try creating a new account and see what happens let me give some dummy details and click on register and it will say user is created and very question email has been has been sent and it is displaying this verify now button but it is not displaying the email that is because if i come back here and check this code it says recent code and recent code so i actually uh, made a mistake here so let me change that to verify message i will rerun the app now okay, you can see that uh, my details are here and since i have not verified this email it says email email is not verified and giving the option to verify my email so since this email is not real i want to log in with the real email address that i have let me try one of my email address that i think is not verified okay uh, you can see the email is not verified so let me click on this verify now and it will say that verification email has been sent okay it is not displaying any details here we will see that later why so let me go to the my email and show you guys that i have received the email or not okay you can uh, see here that i have this verify email address for project something because um, since this is the firebase account that i have not customized for the verify email message that's why it is displaying the project number here but now if i click on this email i can verify my email so click on that and guys sometimes you may not receive that email address here in the inbox so you may need to check to the spam folder or promotion folder so once i received that uh, email address in promotion folder so don't get confused try to search on all the places that you may receive the email okay so you can see here email is verified now if i log into my applications it will going to now let me log out from here and log in again okay now it is not displaying anything here because the email is verified and also it is not displaying any details it may be because uh, while i was creating this account i may not have given the uh, profile details because i use this email to create the first testing account i guess so guys this is how we verify the email and i hope that you learned something and you can implement this in your application as well in the coming videos we'll talk about the updating the user password from the applications itself without sending the email address uh, without sending the password reset email we'll also talk about how to reset the uh, how to let the user change their email address and images as well so stay tuned for more videos and i hope to see you in the next firebase tutorials till then goodbye have a good day